Have you ever wondered about the differences between a P90 and a mini humbucker? How about a Filtertron pickup and a lipstick pickup? Well, if you have, you're in the right place. Today we're going to look at these four really unique, really cool sounding pickups, the differences between them, and hopefully it'll help you guys decide in the future what pickup set might be right for you. All right, let's jump straight in and look at a guitar equipped with P90 pickups. This is a Pauletti T-style guitar with some of the nicest sounding P90s out there. Now, unlike a Fender single coil, which is, you know, a tall bobbin with lots of winds right close to the pull pieces, as you can see, the P90 is much shallower and much wider, which means you've got a lot more coils kind of going horizontally out instead of vertically, which gives the P90 its signature tone, which is lots of power, lots of grunt, lots of grit, uh, nothing quite like a P90 pickup. And of course, its unique construction contributes to that. Next up, we've got a guitar equipped with lipstick pickups. Now, Dan Electro invented the lipstick pickup. Uh, the story goes that the Dan Electro factory was just a block down from Max Factor, which was a cosmetic factory. And as they were trying to find an enclosure for the guitars that would be, you know, affordable and unique, they sort of struck up a deal with Max Factor and got all these extra uh, lipstick tubes for pennies on the dollar. And that's how it came to be. And they designed a pickup that would fit the enclosure. So totally different than any other single coil. Uh, again, where a fender is wound around a fiber bobbin with all your little pull pieces, these lipstick pickups were actually wound around a bar magnet that would fit inside the tube. So totally unique tone from any other single coil. They're known for a bright jangly tone. Next up, we've got the Filtertron pickup here in a Fender Telecaster, but of course synonymous with Gretsch guitars and in fact developed by Gretsch for their lineup. So they were looking for a way to get rid of some of the hum and buzz of pickups that had come before it. In other words, the P90 and the Filtertron pickup was born. So how does this differ from a traditional humbucker? Well, the individual coils are much narrower and much taller and the pull pieces are much closer together. So you end up with sort of a narrower pickup, really tall with a very powerful magnet underneath, more powerful than, you know, the equivalent humbucker. So people who love Filtertron pickups say, well, it's the best of three worlds. It's hum canceling, it's got the bright chime of a single coil and the big low end of a humbucker. Humbucker. So there you go. That's the Filtertron pickup. And finally, we've got the Mini Humbucker here in the D'Angelico Deluxe Bedford. As you can see, it's a very small pickup, much smaller than, you know, a traditional humbucker. It's narrower even than the Filtertron pickups, but the goal was the same. Try to retain some of that open, airy high end of a single coil while getting rid of the hum. Now, this pickup was actually developed by Epiphone. And when Gibson acquired Epiphone as a company, they also got the information to the mini humbucker and it went on to, you know, feature on some very, very popular and very iconic Gibson guitars. So that's kind of the history of the mini humbucker. It'll be interesting to see how that, you know, compares with the Filtertron and some of the other, you know, P90 lipsticks. So these are the guitars. Let's jump in. So I'll play three different examples for you guys back to back. So hopefully you can hear the sonic identities of each one of these pickups. We'll play some crunch, some clean and some higher gain. Here we go. Let's take a listen.
So here are my initial thoughts after listening back and forth to those clips a few times. Let's start with the P90 pickup. Now in terms of the output, I would put it kind of in the middle of the pack. Definitely had more output than the lipstick pickup, not quite as much as the Filtatron or the Mini Humbucker. Kind of sat with those ones, but I would say the, the Filtertron and the Mini Humbucker had a little bit more output. In terms of the overall tone, it was very nice and balanced. Lots of low end, didn't have like the top end zinginess of, of some of the other pickups. So I would say it's a nice kind of middle of the road, um, kind of higher output single coil pickup with a nice balanced tone. Now moving on to the lipstick pickup, what a great tone out of that. It definitely had the lowest output of all the pickups. If you listen carefully to how it drove the amp in the crunch section and the distortion section, you can definitely hear it doesn't have that same push as the other pickups, but lots of jangly uh, high end, lots of character to that pickup for sure. So that'd be a great choice. Next up of course was the Filtertron pickup and the first of our noiseless options. Obviously the P90 and the lipstick are true single coil, so they have all the 60 cycle hum that goes along with that and the Filtertron is totally silent. Now in terms of like output I would say it was maybe right on par with that mini, mini humbucker. They were both kicking it out really good compared to the other two and in terms of the tone it definitely had more mids than some of the other options. It sort of had that high upper high mid push that some of the other pickups didn't have so it gave you a lot of clarity had some good high end zing as well but kind of balanced it out with some big low end so it had lots of low end i wouldn't say a lot through the lower mids there's not a lot there but then lots through the upper mids and the highs and finally the mini humbucker now i felt like this matched up with the filtertron pretty well in terms of output how it hit the amp how it drove the tubes how it saturated and all that kind of stuff very similar to me now in terms of of uh, the tonal differences. This is kind of where they kind of departed a little bit. Like I said with the Filtertron, not a lot of low mids there, but lots of upper mid uh, punch. Now in terms of the Mini Humbucker, I felt like all the mids were pretty scooped out. You had lots of low end, uh, kind of scooped mids. You could really hear it in that distorted section where it I think sounded probably the best in terms of like that riffing and power cording and stuff like that. Um, and then lots of high end. So you got lots of that high end zing, the low end, and then just kind of like a big scoop there. And the Filtertron wasn't scooped in the same way. So that's the big differences I noticed uh, between those two pickups specifically. And those are my kind of general initial thoughts on all four. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comment section below which pickup set you guys thought sounded the best in each scenario. I'd love to hear from you guys on that. Other than that, I'll link to all the gear I used in the video description below. All my information, all that stuff will be down there. You can check it out there. Other than that, have yourself a great day.